The wait is over. Warhammer Plus is finally, quote unquote, here. The future, ladies and gentlemen. No more speculation. Now we get to see exactly what it is this groundbreaking, incredible streaming service has to offer. Two YouTube videos. <laughs> Three recent issues of White Dwarf. <laughs> uh, one fluff book, that's something I guess, and one animation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, so, when I, when I first heard, started talking about this and heard about it, I figured that, alright, the Warhammer Vault, that's gonna be the big seller here, right? Because honestly, access to a bunch of old fluff books like i imagined they would put well everything up there really i expected all of the rule books to be there or maybe not rule books because i guess you do have to pay for that but at the very least all of the fluff books and even then i mean you are paying for that as well and certainly all of the White Dwarves should be there from the beginning. They've got this stuff on archive, surely. Every issue of White Dwarves should have been available. I also thought there would be Black Library books there. I mean, I expected the Warhammer Vault to be that. A huge collection of Warhammer books. Of fluff books. Of source books. Of novels and stuff. No, you know what's there? I got a little... I, I can't find the screenshot of it, but I got sent a screenshot of the Warhammer Vault. It's the Gathering Storm books and about a dozen or so white dwarfs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And as for the exclusive shows, remember when I was like, okay, the charitable interpretation is that you get all of the listed exclusive shows each week. So you get a lore video, you get battle report, and you get a Citadel Masterclass Painter, right? No, of course not. You get however many videos GW feels like producing on that particular week. This time, it's our battle report, and how to hold up a single miniature in front of your face and psh, 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 spray it with black paint. Literally, black power armor. <laughs> how to base coat. Oh, man, the standard of this stuff. <laughs> Sky high. And hey, at least... Credit where credit is due, there's an animation. And you know what? If they manage to keep up one animation every week, that's not bad. That might actually kinda be worth the price. Although, even then, that's a steep asking cost for what is now only the animation side of thing, with even less books and a couple of YouTube videos. And hey, that's if you can get the damn thing to work. Of course. Nobody expected GW to be able to pull off the technical side of things, as I've received quite a lot of screenshots. Uh, these here were sent to me by Maka from the Outer Circle, which basically just shows a bunch of people saying that they have subscribed, the money has disappeared, but they didn't get access because they immediately got an email telling them that it's really unfortunate that you've ended your subscription. <laughs> Oh, and this one I got sent to. I mean, uh, the Warhammer Vault exists to preserve the rich lore and background of Warhammer 40k and Warhammer Age of Sigma. As such, outdated game scenarios and unit rules have been removed from this publication. Pay GW for Warhammer Plus subscription like a good pay pig. Get access to the Warhammer Vault. Ooh, what a library of gems! It's three post 2015 White Dwarves, with half of the pages missing. <laughs> To be fair, it's, there's like half a dozen white dwarfs with half the pages missing. <laughs> that's, that's something, right? I mean, I genuinely expect there to be black library books there. I'd expected the fluff books, like practically, because they used to release a lot of cool fluff books. Like all of the Liber Chaotica books should be in there. The Liber uh, Necro the Me Necromancy book should be in there. Like the Vivisection book, the the Race book, all of that stuff should be there. And of course, it isn't. Oh, and as a little note as well, they quickly added in some. 
minor, minor changes here and there to the deal too. If you go to the Frequently Asked Question page, you remember how they said that they'd update their servers every Wednesday with new content. Well, we'll add new content to the Water Plus TV and the Water Vault most Wednesdays. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They can't... Sir... GW, I... Seriously, right now, like I'm not, I'm not joking. Seriously, I on my on my other channel, I make a YouTube video like most days. Like I produce two streams and usually like three to five YouTube videos, commentary videos, a week, plus a lore video on this channel, plus whatever extra content when you make a whoopsie. That's me, one person. Okay, how many employees do you have? You must be able to report at least a battle report guaranteed every week. Hell, it's one game of 40k. Jesus. Like, even if we're talking an apocalypse style game, right? You gotta be able to hammer out one of those a week, surely. And a painting tutorial. I mean, your first painting tutorial is how to paint a miniature black. Okay, fair enough. There's slightly more to that than merely holding it up in front of a spray can and going psh, psh, psh. But holy shit. That's it? Not like a how to play, how to, how to paint Sanguinius to a our level. No, no, no. How to paint black armor black. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the free miniatures. People have pointed this out too, like, oh, a free miniature? I have to sign up one month for the free miniature. <laughs> They thought of that. Oh boy, yes, they thought of that. Ah, <sighs> And at least, at least they are adding subtitles. Now, they didn't add subtitles to Hammer and Bolter, so I'm questioning why they didn't, now that they are saying they will, but... Oh well, you know... Promises and GW. The two do not necessarily get along all that well. Uh, <laughs> again, I'll be the first to admit, I absolutely have an axe to grind with GW over this, and all of the various actions they are taking, which in my opinion, do nothing but hurt the fandom and their setting. But Jesus. You have to laugh because the only other option is to cry. They sniped out all of the fan animators for this. A YouTube video on painting black armor and a battle report. Oh, and not to forget, three, like, not even the good old white dwarves. The ones with the cool ass battle reports for yesteryear. Like, those were really fun. But no, three recent white dwarves. So ac you get access to their commercial magazine. Christ, this entire thing is nothing more than a bloody ad. That's all this is. This isn't a fan thing. This isn't for the fans. This isn't more Warhammer more often. This is a pay-to-watch advertisement service where you get access to how to use our paint, how to play with our models, how to watch our models be dropped, and of course, how to get easy access to our literal advertisement magazine. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, Man, I mean, my expectations were low. They really were. I expected the Warhammer Vault again to be the only thing really worthwhile. <laughs> Stupid me. Stupid me indeed. I expected three YouTube videos a week, and hey, at least they exceeded my animations, my animations, my expectation with the animations, again, if there's one a week, eh, that, that's something. I mean, they've sacrificed all of the other content to the point that now it's merely just a animation streaming service, but oh well. <laughs> something, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I repeat it once more. If you're gonna boycott anything, <laughs> this is certainly the least sacrifice. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.